Hello friends. Welcome to C# of Intermediate to Advanced tutorial. Now you are watching part 4 of the video C# split container. Now let us see how to adjust the width of the panel. Here panel 1 which is part of the split container. Here we will see how to adjust its width and at the same time we will see how to set restriction so that it will not minimized beyond certain limit then we will also see how to adjust the width of this uh, splitter here if you see we are making use of the numeric up down control and this one is for the splitter width we named it as a ud up down control split width so the event what we are handling here is value changed that means this value changed will rise whenever user clicks the up or down button or when they manually change this value so during that time we take the value from this uh, splitter control so this value will return whatever is the current value so this value is set to the splitter width property of the split container that means ultimately here you are adjusting this width this width we are adjusting So when user clicks it continuously, you will see that split width get adjusted at runtime. Next, we have one more uh, splitter control. I mean, uh, one more uh, numeric up down control. So this is the second control, and once again we are implementing the value changed event and the same way how we accessed previously we are accessing the value property of the numeric up down control and at the same time here we are converting this as integer here also we did the same then the property here is panel 1 minimum size the same way you can access panel 2 min size also but here we are accessing panel 1 min size that means this is our panel 1 and this list box which is sitting in panel 2 you can say this is panel 2 and the list box is occupying the entire uh, panel 2 so here we are setting a min size with the value taken from uh, this uh, numeric up down control so here 137 that means let's say this is 137 right now user cannot minimize it beyond this limit that means they cannot move the splitter in this direction once 137 is reached so that's what we are setting minimum size tells the panel 1 panel 1 min size panel 1 minimum size given is 137 you cannot uh, reduce the panel 1 size beyond this limit but you can increase the size but when you reduce the size this is the minimum size required for this panel all right now let's go ahead and implement this so first we will select the form then we will bring up the properties and we will handle the load event for this form so during the form load So here we are setting the panel 1 min size as 100. So I'm choosing properties. Here we will implement value change event. So now we set the panel 1 minimum size and 
let's say experiment that so if you remember we said minimum and the maximum for this numeric up down control minimum is 100 and maximum is 200 and based on this value we are setting the panel one minimum size and let's see so here we set minimum size as 150 now if you see here user is adjusting the size and when they are diminishing the size they cannot minimize it beyond this limit now let me even reduce it to or let me give it here value 100 now let me increase it so that the text control is fully visible that's a 125 i have given so now if the user is resizing it they can resize it but when they diminish it they cannot diminish it in such a way that they can hide this text control but because we set what is the minimum size for the panel one Now let's go to the splitter with uh, numeric up down control and we will implement value changed. Here we are setting the splitter width property with the value changed. So now from numeric up down control we are feeding the splitter width so that user can adjust whatever splitter width they want. you can see how it is increasing here we set maximum width for this numeric up down control which is 10 that means they cannot uh, set a higher size they can increase the size till 10 when they are reducing they can reduce it till 1 so this is the minimum and the maximum splitter width they can set That's all here in this video. Thank you for watching. Bye.